What's up PUBG Mobile fans, this is Browie back again with another video, and there is a guy dropping right beneath me. Although he does something extremely odd. Or maybe it's not that odd. He is just going to float down. He's probably just looking around to see where everyone is going. And uh, as far as I can tell, there's only just me, so I'll take the arena. He's going to go over by the hotel, I call it the hotel area. There goes a vehicle. Somebody else landed near me. I wonder where he's going. While I was shooting, I was hoping he was going to flip right there, but maybe he's going to Hacienda. It was kind of a the plane path did not allow us to jump to Hacienda, so maybe he just grabbed a vehicle and went to Hacienda. That's fine. I'll take the arena myself. I'm playing commando. I don't need much loot. There's that guy at the hotel area shooting off some bots or something. Got me a mini. Now I just need a scope. Getting my typical loadout with... There's some more shots, so I'm going to quickly run through the arena here, try to find some stuff grab some there's a four times perfect put that on my mini and I'm gonna go see if I can't take this guy out all right I moved over to the apartments so that I can get up high and try and scope in to that uh, east southeast area see if I can see where he's at the doors are all closed so I don't see anything now Oh, there he is. This distance, I could obviously take him out, but he has too much cover. It would just wouldn't be a very well thought out fight. So I'm going to let him run around a little bit, um, see if he runs to the casino, if he runs over to these houses. And he is not. So he's going to go up to the top floor and loot the top floor. Perfect. So my plan is to get at a little bit different angle. And I'm going to go to the five-story building so I can get all the way up to the top. And by the time he's looting that top floor, my hope is, oh, there's a bot going up the stairs. I'll let him be. I don't want to ruin my position right now for that bot. So yep, there, there somebody goes. I don't know if that's him or not. Couple shots over in that direction. Bot fight. Oh, there he goes. He's scoping in on bots. Oh man, is that three or four? Three shots with a headshot. I'm surprised he didn't die. Maybe he had level three armor. Yeah, there's a bot. Bot fight over there, and he was peeking at him. All right, so he went and hid in that lower room. He's obviously healing up right now. That Mini-14 sounded a little bit different. Seemed quicker. So there might be an actual person over in that direction too. I'm not really sure. Oh, there he is. Headshot. Shot. Yep, he was healing up. I ruined his helmet. I must have anyway. The first time. I did hear something over there, so... I'm on alert. I think there's another um, real person here. So I'm going to hang out in here and try and listen some more. See if I can't uh, figure out where he's at. Get that flash hider for my mini. And let's skip ahead a little bit. So, like I had mentioned, that there was, uh, it sounded like there was a person over there. I heard some suppressed fire and right there. I, I heard that earlier too. An M24 sniper. He's shooting at a bot or something. I'd go out and find him, but... Not in the red zone. These commando missions, I don't want to waste. I mean, if I was just playing solo versus duos or something, or, you know, actually trying to rank up, which I'm not in solos at all, I might jump out just for fun to go get him, but these commando missions are hard enough without armor, so I'll wait for this to finish, 
and see if I can't hear where he goes. Yep, there's that suppressed fire. I hear him? Right there. There we go. Took him out. So just by listening, you can tell where people are at. Watch the hit markers. I mean, that was an easy one. Although, the part that keyed me in on him was when I was scoping in on the guy at the hotel. And it appeared that there was a bot fight. And then somebody came over and, you know, shot a gun a little bit quicker. Not like a bot fight. So I knew there was probably another real person in this uh, Picado area. So I'm going to loot up him one more time. Go check out what he had. He had a suppress, although I think it was just a UMP. And he did have that sniper. So I come over here, double check, see what he's got. And sure enough, he's got M24. He had a UMP suppressor. That's, what it, that's right. And I'm sitting here staring at it because I don't know if I want to keep my mini. Mini is extremely versatile, especially solo. You know, get a couple of quick pops and then uh, be on my way. But, man, that M24, a little bit better than a Car 98. So I think I'll take it. You know, it kind of depends on the games, the games that uh, come to me. Um, I found that Mini pretty early, so I was definitely going to stick with the Mini for a while. Um, I did not find a Car 98, so I'm going to stick with this for a little bit. All right, I think it got loaded up here. Got about 15, 16 rounds of 7.62. Filled up my 5.56, and I'm good to go. Let's jump ahead pretty far. Jumped ahead pretty far. We went way over to the west side of the map. There's a bot. I am not going to shoot. As you can tell, there's only eight people left. I've killed six. I met up with uh, three more bots, I think, on my travels, if you will. And I know there was a guy up the hill. He was checking a drop and then sped away in a vehicle. So not sure what he got out of the drop, but that's all right. I just know he's up in that direction. That's why I'm not shooting that bot right now. Waiting for the circle to get a little bit closer so that this guy doesn't come behind me. Gotta play much safer. Is that a person right there? Yes. But, but he's just sitting there. Alright, well, there's that bot running through the town. That's very odd. Typically, bots don't just sit, uh, sit right there unless this guy was a real person and left the game, possibly. But it appears that he's move that he's looking around. Very odd. Someone goes down to AKM. Down to set oh man, look at that circle. I have to run all the way across to that area. Unlucky circle. That's right. Alright, well the gun's gonna hit the uh rock right here, so let me scoot out. There's a mini 14 kill. Right about there. Alright, busy, you are done, and the mini 14 was in that direction, so I have to go there anyway. I do have a minute 27, but let's skip ahead. Alright, I ran all the way over to this circle, saw another bot, down to four people left. Not really gonna... You, Ooh, suppress fire. Here, oh, there he is. Oh, quick headshot, darn it. He was looking in that the other direction. Where's the footsteps? Listen, there he is. I knew with that headshot I could rush him a little bit because uh, he was going to be hurting if I just got the drop on him real quick. Three people left. This is working out a little bit better. All right, I'm going to boost up here, circle come in. Not too bad. I'll take it. Four people left, three people left. Let's skip ahead a little bit.
That circle lasted a minute, so I skipped ahead. Oh, there's a suppressed car 98 from up the hill, probably on top of the mountain. All right, got him figured out. Now let's run to the next circle because it's going to take a little while. Boosting up, and the circle, well, it's not too bad. But I've got this huge mountain here. I'm just surveying the area where I can go right up next to the mountain. Perfect. So that guy probably on the mountain with the car 98. And we got a play zone death, probably a bot. So now it's just me versus him. He's moving. Yep, it's that guy with the car 98 up there somewhere. He's trying to get to a spot inside the zone. The zone's shrinking on him on the mountain. He keeps creeping forward to just get in the zone. All right, I'm in the zone. It's hard to tell if he's in the zone. It's got a small circle. I need to back up a little bit so I can get my gun out. Oh, he jumped down. Follow footsteps. Jumped again. Right there. Nice. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That was a really good game. I was uh, extremely pleased. Got a couple of people in Picado. Had to move a lot with that circle, but um, in the end... I listened to where everyone was and was able to follow him jumping down off the mountain and get a beat on him before he'd get. Plus, it was nice to get inside the zone a little bit earlier so I could listen to him come down. Well, guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more PUBG Mobile action. Thanks for watching.